What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another Monday of me feeling like I need a permanent vacation because guys, the nonsense never, it just does not end. Last week I got hit with $5,000 in customs fees because the company that was selling me the whey protein lied about how they were shipping it. They said it was going to be door to door, which means they ship it directly to my warehouse. They didn't. They sent it to the port of New York. So I had to pay $1,500 to get it taken off the ship into the port, $1,500 for customs fees, and they want another $1,500 to bring it from there to my warehouse. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? And these suckers next door have been complaining that it smells. You know, the, this warehouse is actually connected to another warehouse that's supposed to be one big warehouse, but the landlord divided it. So the ventilation is connected. And ever since they moved in, they've basically been trying to get me kicked out of this space by complaining every single week. And I mean, I don't think they would keep bothering me if they knew like, hey, you know, do you want to be known as the person who kicks Frankie Street Meat out of there? Where it's not, they'd probably be out of business shortly after that. So maybe I should go tell them that. But I don't know. I'm going to take it slow at this point. And honestly, um, I, although I probably can't afford it, uh, I would, I would rather have had that warehouse. So maybe, maybe if I get a loan and I can negotiate something with the landlord, I can get both warehouses and those losers can go sell their shit rug somewhere else. But anyway, that's enough complaining for this week. Hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. Uh, but we don't have too much new going on besides uh, the farm prospect, which I will talk about. And we do have one new product in this week. So let me show you guys what's going on before my workers shatter my eardrums. So I got here a little earlier than usual, which means that maybe I can actually get some stuff done today. We got a few pallets of orders ready. Order volume has been, you know, consistently higher for, I would say, the past two months, although we haven't been making money because UPS is still jerking me around. These are the post office orders for Frankie's Strange Foods. You know, the water kefir grains, the meat granola, all that stuff. Hopefully we can send it out today. So we don't have these labels on the bars yet, but this is for the apple nut bars. We have a change in label and we don't have this ready yet, but we're going to have a steak seasoning blend, hopefully uh, by the end of this week, early next week. This is something I've been wanting to do for a few years now, but finally getting around to it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and it's really for any type of meat, even vegetables and all that type of stuff. It's going to be salt, garlic, mushroom, onion, pretty simple, but very high quality organic fresh ingredients. So it should be really, really nice. Now uh, we're running low on beef jerky, we're running low on meat granola. We're all out of best bars. We don't have any pemmican either. So I'm trying to keep everything in stock for you guys, but you know, it's been a little difficult. So if you guys could just be a little patient, hopefully we can have everything in stock by the end of this week. There are a few pemmican orders, like two or three that haven't gone out because of that. And I'm going to make sure to send all of you guys uh, the rest of your orders by Tuesday of this week. All right. So in the freezer, guys, we have a bunch more Wagyu tomahawk steaks because you guys purchased all of them. Plenty of caviar in stock, salmon roe and the sturgeon caviar. These will be back in stock uh, tonight. This is the prime rib roast, which we ran out of, bone in. So I don't think there's anything new in the freezer this week, but if there is, you guys will always see it at the top of the website on Frankie's Strange Meat, the first few products. But the new product is not in the freezer this week. It is in the fridge. So I took a visit to a farm last week and the guy had some cheese he wanted to sell and he gave me a decent price. So we got A2A2 100% grass fed cheddar, Gouda, as well as Colby cheese. So we've never carried Colby before, although we have cheddar and Gouda. This is just kind of a similar quality, but you know, some people like it because it's confirmed A2A2 and it's local. We also have some roast beef back in stock. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this. Now, most of the cheeses that we have are A2A2 because they're European. The difference is this is local. You know, I have a slightly better margin on it and the farmer is the one who's being supported with the money. So when you buy that cheese from me, you know, I know exactly who the money's going to. If I'm just importing these, you know, DOP European cheeses, the importer's getting a cut, the middleman's getting a cut, you know, how much money is the farmer actually getting? So 
e even though the quality of the cheese might be slightly better in the Europe stuff and, and it's a more like nostalgic flavor, people are familiar with it, you know, there, there's pros and cons to everything, but we'll see how that goes. And uh, I guess since we don't really have anything to talk about downstairs and, and I have to do a bunch of organizing for the organ supplements and Wi-Fi shielding stuff, uh, maybe we can go down there next week and take a look if I get to that. But for now, I guess I can talk a little bit about uh, the farm prospect and uh, if we're gonna get this guy to produce anything for us. You know, it's a pretty interesting contrast because when I went to visit those Amish farmers last week, they were super nice, happy to see me. And you know, these suckers next door are trying to get me kicked out. The landlord's a complete piece of shit. The heat hasn't worked half the time in the winter and Con Edison is charging me $2,000 a month in electric. Landlord doesn't give a shit, so. My neighbor's actually pulling in right now. Maybe I should talk to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make a joke. I'm gonna go make a joke. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? You guys trying to get me kicked out or what? No. You complain about cooking? Huh? You of course. Complain I, about cooking? I can't do business one and a half. So I'm not gonna put that conversation in the video. I don't think the guy is trying to get me kicked out. Basically, he's been complaining to the management uh, to fix the ventilation system. And at this point, the management's solution has been to try to get me kicked out. Um, so because he's complaining, they want to kick me out, which is my understanding of the situation. Um, I mean, this landlord never wants to fix anything. I don't know if they can fix the ventilation so that his building doesn't smell. I don't know. We'll see how it goes for the next few months. Hopefully nothing drastic happens. If it does, that's an excuse for me to retire to Colombia. Anyway, so we got that cheese from the Amish farm last week. Uh, the guy said he's pretty comfortable producing eggs, corn and soy free as soon as possible. So I, I think we're going to get eggs. The only problem is I don't know if I want to sell eggs on the meat website because they're very hard to package. So I might have to sell the eggs on the foods website, which people are going to be irritated about. So I haven't worked that out logistically. And then if we do have dairy as well, that's going to be a whole nother fiasco. So ho hopefully the customer base that those products would bring in are worth the headache. I still have to find a driver or someone that would be able to transport the product from upstate to me every Monday. That's going to be an expense that I'm not sure I can afford. Uh, I think it's going to be at least seven, eight hundred dollars for back and forth a few hours. But uh, maybe they'll even start uh, being able to do some like charcuterie products for us. I don't, I don't think so though. The hot dogs, the sausage, the bacon, that would be nice, but um, I don't think they have the pork ready yet. and. I'm not sure if uh, they're ready to start doing the beef as soon as possible, but we'll see how that goes for the next few months. But guys, I just, I just can't take this shit every week, you know? How, how am I supposed to deal with this? I got, I got my scumbag business partner suing me. Rap Boy's busy fondling little boys in Costa Rica. He's still suing me. Um, my landlord's harassing me, trying to come in every week. I, it, it's just, at this point, I don't know what to do because I, I can't afford to buy a building. Um, I can't afford to relocate because the amount of money I put into this facility, I, I couldn't do it again. The refrigeration, the HVAC systems, all the equipment to get that stuff moved to a new place and outfit. I just, I couldn't actually afford to move if I wanted to. So I don't really know. I mean, I, I think even if the, the landlord wanted to kick me out, I mean, who, who knows how connected the guy is? That's the real issue. Normally, you know, especially in the city, you know, it could take one, two, three years to get a tenant kicked out, but the guys, I think, very, very wealthy, like a billionaire, super connected, so who knows what they would do, but trying to stay positive, trying not to completely go crazy and lose it. So, I don't know. I'm going to go try to get some sun before uh, they spray any more chemtrails in the air, uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, so, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, frank-defano.com, guys, you can check out all my businesses, especially Frankie's Free Range Meat. Outside of that, thanks again for joining, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow.